complete combustion of propane, which happens in my barbecue all the time, involves taking that reactant, propane is a gas at regular temperatures and pressures, and reacting it with oxygen gas. That's what combustion or burning something is. When you do that, you get the common oxides of these two elements. The common oxide of carbon is carbon dioxide. The common oxide of hydrogen is H2O or water. H2O is a gas when it comes out of combustion. If the air around it is cool, it might cool to a liquid, but that happens after the fact. The combustion gives you the gas. Complete combustion only gives you carbon dioxide and water when your original reactant is a hydrocarbon, okay? And don't forget you're reacting with oxygen as well. You may have to balance this, so I'll show you how I would do that. Three carbons here, I would need three carbons here. Eight hydrogens here. How many pairs of hydrogen would that be? Well, I would need four times two to give me the eight hydrogens on the right. Now, how many oxygens do I have? I have three times two is six here, and four, which makes 10 total. How many O2s would that be? Well, 10 divided by two gives me five, so it's five O2s. Hey, that was a quick balancing and we're done. Propane combusts completely if you have enough oxygen to give you carbon dioxide and water. All the complete combustions are this easy. It has to say complete, otherwise you might make something like carbon monoxide or soot or smoke or something, I don't know. Complete combustion is Dunzo McGrunzo. Best of luck.